You know, we talk talk about you know Harvard and stuff like that. You know, uh, and uh, I heard I heard an interesting uh, study like that. What what, what kind of uh, grades did did y'all make in in school? I was a nerd. I was always making A's and B's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah was, Here, Here's my sticker. <laughs> yeah, right. Like I was a bro, I got I was, but I was a different nerd. I was a nerd, nerd, bro. Were you? I was a nerd. Bro. Oh man, dude. I, bro, I was a nerd. Like my my, my dad, straight A's, dude. Bro, my dad's a double chemist. My mom's an attorney, bro. So we they're like nerds, they put it bro. on you, like you better come home with with the good grades, or like you wanted to come home with. So good grades. you wanted, I wanted to make my dad happy, and making my dad, my dad was like, oh, ninety five. How come it's not a ninety six? Oh, so he was one of those, <laughs> right? For one hundred percent. So he kind of like just you know he kind of like rubbed yes. off on you like that, and, and same for you, like what? Or nah, my parents. uh my parents just wanted me to do good in school. They didn't really push anything, so I, it was just really on me. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was what was your uh, what was uh, your topic? You know, um, I w uh, English, like English? English and writing and uh, stuff and, like and that. Say, yeah. say they no, 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 bro. I was like anything logic, like math, science. Ma like, oh, yeah, they, I, that's, like, yeah. And, I, and, like, and I, 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 I yeah. okay. So I <laughs> straight up, bro, C D student. Okay? <laughs> 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 you know, if if, if I got a D uh, a D plus, I, I was great. Bro. Like, I don't have to saying, take this again. Yeah, <laughs> I'm good. You know, like that. I'm fine. I did not like, you know, like there's some subjects, obviously, that I was super attracted to math and science. I was a right. math, math and science person, you know, what I mean, like that. And I think it's always funny because when uh, like when you're going through school uh, like that, uh, you know, you get those people you're like that, you know, e either you get the guys that are math or science or reading and writing. Right. And mm -hmm. that, like uh, like how many people that, you know, excelled in both of those like in both those or like all four of those topics. Nah. Now, I think like there's just a hard. You know, like yeah. that. I think there's a hard fork in the road. Like you know, either this left or brain, that. right yeah. brain. Yeah, like that's yeah. That. Uh, man. So anything like when it came to to math and science and stuff like that, uh, for sure. I, I love that, especially like because uh, for me, I'm more geared towards hands-on stuff, and that's right. what math and science is for. Like reading mm -hmm. and writing, you're talking about just sitting there and freaking, you know, imagination, just <laughs> touch and yeah, feel. Like, yeah. like don't, not like I, like I have imagination, yeah. you know what I mean? But like to just sit there. And like uh, to read a book, oh mm -hmm. man, uh, bro! And like it was torture for me. Yeah, like yeah, tell me, like yeah. tell me, and and say, Absolutely. hey, hat homework is a hey, read the two chapters. Oh, bro, no. I wanted to kill myself. I'm never doing like that. <laughs> like never that. doing it. But if you tell me, hey, go <laughs> home, go home, and, and you know do this science, you know, or this a hundred page uh, free like hundred question math thing, like man, I was doing like make, showing all uh, the work. Make a, vol make a volcano. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. 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 Paper I, I did that. Like, all, all about uh, that life. And so I say this, all right. So I was listening to this study. This guy was talking about this study that he said all the, the all the nerds, you know, you know, like that, uh, you know. When they come up, you know, they were just, uh, they end up getting burnt out, you know, by the time they already, you know, finished high school or even uh, go to the next level uh, graduation and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, uh, graduate from college. And they said that the most successful people that, uh, you know, that come out of uh, uh, high school or in college are the C students and, and uh, as for entrepreneurs. Bro, the, uh, I see that. What is it? It's a, uh, there's a saying that's like, Make A's and B's teach, make C's get rich, get C's get richer. Oh, I man, wish that was on. a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, it, and and I see that on. I see that because you know there's one thing. All right, and I uh, I wish the the guy that was talking on 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 this video that I was uh, listening to uh, he would have went more in depth into the study. He really didn't. Uh, but uh, uh, but I've heard this before. All right, and it's because like the A's and, and uh, the B's uh, students and stuff like that, their capacity of learning, you know, it's already full. Mm -hmm. You know, as for the 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 C student, you know, um, you know, they they're still they they still have a lot more capacity to learn. All right, but the thing is, is that you know what he was talking about in the in the video is that you know these are the dreamers. These are the ones that you know That's what, what it is, bro. These are the ones that are you know are doing just enough to get by because they're not really interested in in, in whatever you know uh, uh, the, the classroom is teaching at the time, mm -hmm. especially now today's education, man. God yeah. knows what the hell is going on there, but uh, but I know back then it's like you know, and I, I told this to my wife the other day. I was like, babe. Because I uh, uh, I graduated in 2006, right? <laughs> you know, like that. You know, not in ninety not in ninety four. Hey, since ninety four, hey, I will tell you what, Joe. Since ninety four, when's the last time you solved anything with pie? Pie. Yeah. 
Uh, bro, I had some pie the other night. No, I saw, <laughs> I, 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 saw, I, I said, solves everything. I said solve an equation with oh, pie. Bro, <laughs> that's hell. what I told my wife. We were coming hell, back bro. from Target or something like that. And I was like, babe, it's been 17 years and I still haven't solved anything with pie. <laughs> I don't know why I had to learn that. Instantly. Bro, so, <laughs> you know, but you, but but so so you're right though, because mm-hmm. because this is what I always thought was stupid. So you go to school. And then in seventh grade, you learn American history. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And in the eighth grade, you learn American history again. Mm-hmm. But how did what happened in 1776 change between last year and this year? Not like you're, like I'm wasting yeah. an hour of my day learning some shit that already happened. Like uh-huh. it, it's already happened. I have to learn it every year. They just burn up a bunch of time teaching you stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, like once you learn like English, right? Uh-huh. Like, like you know it. Like it's, it's good. Yeah. But I don't need to know literature. Yeah. Because I don't, yeah. I, nobody goes into business and like, you, somebody spitting a Shakespearean player, you have to know words to Othello or all that. If that's your thing, that's your thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, the only reason I'm talking like that is because I'm watching like some some old ritzy English <laughs> show on TV. I'm trying to understand like Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What the fuck but, are you talking about? Trust me, bro. When when Game of Thrones, House of Dragons is on, man, me and my wife is all day talking like that. <laughs> Come here, my love. You know, like that. Bro, the soon, of, you know, sun of my stars and the moon, of, bro, you know, all that. Bro, like but that, but that's, but that's what I don't. It, you just have to have like, like it's, it's like you have to have that le- that level of discipline. But you also kind of have to have like to be an entrepreneur, you have to be willing to, to like not to go against the grain. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it's hard for a lot of people that are so regimented to go against the grain. Yeah. And and that's and that's another thing that he was talking about because they said that you know the A B students you know are that regimented need a need uh you know people telling them what to do you know they excel all right when when they're giving you know given orders. orders yeah right. when they're given orders you know like that so yeah they're gonna be dependable they're gonna be on time you know they're gonna uh, get the uh, the the tasks accomplished and things like that but as for like now they have to think for uh, for themselves out the box they are not that that type of person. And I mean, as for the C student that, you know, all right, did enough just to, to pass and stuff like that, get it by, but they're the dreamers. They're the ones that, you know, not focus on that because they're thinking, you know, outside the box, you right. know, with the ideas and I things like that. that. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I'm not lying, man, freaking, uh, I tell Lynn all the time, I just, it's hard for me to turn it off sometimes, you know what I mean? And like, <laughs> I, I jokingly say it, but like, you know, yeah. sometimes the, 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 the amount of like ideas that come in my head is like, oh man, I just... I just wish I had a billion dollars in my <laughs> back pocket so I, I could just do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know I mean, for but, sure. Yeah. Like it's very, it's very. And see, and the thing is, to me, <clears throat> what an A B student is, but the the guy who passes the IB the the, the standardized test is, mm-hmm. you're really just a person that's a good test taker. Mm-hmm. Like you're good at taking tests. That's what you're I told good, my wife the other day. You're good at mm-hmm. memorizing mm-hmm. shit. Like mm-hmm. you're good at that. But that doesn't mean that you. Bro, that doesn't mean you can fucking think. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. that's what, like, that's where, like, you will have some, you, you have your A-B students that, that can think and can figure shit out and can work their way through mm-hmm. stuff. But as far as just, like, straight up memorizing stuff, bro, yeah, a, it's a waste. Uh, school's a waste. I, I had a similar I mean, conversation. I stay in school, but school's a waste. <laughs> <laughs> fin- finish school. Right? <laughs> finish school, hey, but it's a waste. And then really but figure out school. what you want to do once you get out of school. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Now, like, I, I had a similar conversation like that with my wife the other day because she talks to a lot of doctors. Uh, and she came home uh, the other day. Ho- hopefully, none of those doctors listening to this right now. <laughs> but, uh, but she didn't give me no name, so it's all right. <laughs> all right. So she was like, she was like, like hey, hey, she was like, you know who are the dumbest people ever? I was like. Uh, who <laughs> she was like doctors. I was like, maybe I tell you that all the time. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, the only reason they're there is because you know the majority of these people, like you know, I'm pretty sure you you've seen it with lawyers and doctors and stuff like that. Like, yeah, these are like real um, important jobs, but not like uh, important jobs at like what I'm trying to say. Um, a lot of people value what they say bro, because so uh, the position they're, they're fucking stupid, yeah. Bro. No, it really, it really is. You know, Jesus and and Christ. you know, book smarts and street smarts is a real thing. All right, if bro. you can understand yeah. it. All right, and the reason, I, and I told her, I was like, of course, babe. I'm like, you know, the majority of these people, yeah, they're they're in this position because you know, not because they're like really smart and they they grasp the concept of of what their you know what their job is and stuff like that. They you know they have great memories. You know, what I mean, and they can memorize you know 
uh, all their notes and stuff like that. It, you know, like I, they have a photogenic memory like that. Mm -hmm. Like I've known, I, I know a doctor that told me the only reason he got through through uh, being a doctor and stuff, and he uh, is because he had a great photogenic memory. You know, what I mean, he was a good uh, so, tester. So I look at yeah, good test. So I, I mm -hmm. the thing with doctors, I, and I've got some good friends that are doctors, right? Like mm -hmm. good, my dad's doctor, so I, I get it, right? And they're like they're smart, right, to an extent, but it's like it, a it's medicine science and medicine mm -hmm. so it's super regimented because it's so logical that it can never be illogical mm -hmm. and the other thing about medicine is you go in and you say my stomach hurts and then they say maybe it's this and then they go wasn't that hmm, maybe it's this <laughs> and, you go, and so you're just sitting there paying like, this dude hundreds of thousands yeah, of dollars like, to guess you need to know <laughs> like yeah. figure this shit out dude why yeah. am i uh, uh, so yeah i i get it they're so smart they're and and it's just it's a lot, man. Doctors are a lot. Bro. <laughs> it, 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 um, you know, I want to go back because I just said it right now about school and, and you know, and, and God knows what's what's happening. Uh, um, what's one subject, you know, uh, that you wish they would bring back in school? Or, you know what, not even bring back, just that they're sh that you wish they were teaching uh, students in school. Oh, bro, I, I, I think that uh, econ, economics and finance yes. should be like staples throughout high school mm -hmm. and not half a semester of government in your senior year. Mm -hmm. By yourself. Man, I don't thing? even know if they took this out or not, but it's just physics. I don't know if they still, they're still teaching that or not, but there's, I mean, I just remember. Damn, and they took away PE from, yeah. from, <laughs> from school. So I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Physical education is an elective now. You know that, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Physics was my favorite class. Yeah, of course. Did. What was it? What was it? The number <laughs> we were talking about the other day, like a hundred. What was it? Like hundred and eighty pounds was the average weight for women in the U.S. Oh. or some shit. Uh, yeah, it was one seventy-five. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah no American, shit. They don't have yeah. any. Yeah, no yeah. shit. Yeah. 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 Fat ass little kid. I mean, yeah. not, not fat kids. The kids. No, yes. Body positivity. <laughs> yeah. Stay in school. No, I right. live a healthy lifestyle. Stay, yeah, right. live a healthy lifestyle. <laughs> uh, for me, like obviously, that's uh, the obvious one. That, you know, to choose is to bring back that and make that a, a, a you know a staple in school like that but uh man i was like what you're talking about man i was like uh it took me all the way until i was 27 to start to figure out and learn about taxes i'm like why is that not a thing you know i didn't I mean? learn taxes until i started my business <laughs> well how old were you then i was like 24 Four. Yeah, you yeah. see, that's what I'm talking yeah, about, yeah. man. I didn't like, you know, I didn't know the difference between a, a W two and a, and a 1099 until I was 27. Yeah, but so. it, but <laughs> even but scale it back from that. If they had finance and all that stuff in school, people would understand how. Bro, I still don't understand how credit works. Credit is the biggest hustle in the world, yeah. but you have to teach and kids. Yeah, long sign insurance, you know? bro. <laughs> yeah. it, it's, it, bro, it's such a it's such a hustle, but you don't teach kids anything about credit, mm -hmm. and then they get out of high school. All they know is that their parents bought a bunch of stuff on their credit card mm -hmm. when they're going up. They get out of high school. Bro, I remember the first day on campus, there were little tents set up mm -hmm. where you could sign up, get a credit card, and a free pizza. Yeah. And you walk away with this credit card. For a $10,000 credit card Bro. with, a, with a, like, 10% APR. Bro, even, it was a yeah. $400 credit card with, what? like, 35% APR. Oh. And then you would buy, like, a PlayStation game and be paying on this shit. Like, I'm still playing off my PlayStation 2. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what oh the fuck is this? God, Bro, man. it's crazy. But you, no. don't, but you don't understand any of that because they teach you, they no. teach you pie. But they don't teach you anything else, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, what are you gonna do? Yeah, they're like that. They're, they're, and, and so, well, you know, right now, freaking uh, Biden's handing out. You know, I think he's already on the second bill that he uh, that he, uh, for the uh, um the student loans. Yeah, the student loans. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I, I, I can't even remember the name, the num number off the top of my head. Maybe you could look it up of how much uh, forgiveness. Uh, like oh, that. bro. I want to say it was like ten mil or something like bro. that, or a hundred mil. No, it's like it, that. that number's huge, bro. Yeah. Like, um. You know, and like, hey, you know what? I was like, uh, I don't know how, uh, how how much more they're gonna probably uh, forgive and stuff like that. But hey, that you know, that's you know, that's a good thing. You know, I, I see it as a good thing. You know, because I mean? a lot of these people, because you know, uh, with with college students that you know, yeah, they put themselves in what? Um, how many thousand dollars did you put yourself through? Biden debt? Harris administration to provide eight hundred and four thousand borrowers with thirty nine billion dollars in automatic loan forgiveness. 
Ooh. That's a lot of money. So bro. so straight up. I want to know how many students that covered. No, that's the eight hundred. That's the eight hundred five thousand. Eight hundred five thousand students. Eight hundred five thousand students. Wow. Automatic thirty nine billion. So so I got lucky. I one hundred percent got lucky, bro. M- my parents. One of the ways that they pushed education through school was that was our job. Mm-hmm. That was our job. So you wanted the newest Jordans, and back when I was there, Jordans came out every quarter, right? Yeah. In eighty nine, mm-hmm. ninety. <laughs> she wasn't even born yet. <laughs> but but so they, they came out they came out every yet. quarter. But if you want some new J's, like your report card has to be right. Like yeah. if you want to be fresh to death, get your grade. And uh-huh. so it was, you know, go to school, do what you're supposed to do in school. And bro, my parents like I didn't ha- I came out of school with no debt, bro. <clears throat> I came out of school with zero debt. I came yeah. out of school but Except but, the four hundred dollar credit card, <laughs> except, <laughs> for a pizza. except for that, except and that PlayStation that you've been paid paying off for but like I, five but years. But I work with people right now, bro, <laughs> that have been practicing law for 10, 15 years, bro, mm-hmm. and they're still paying off their loans from college. That's mm-hmm. crazy. And, and, and I was, you know, I me, mean, I'm all over the internet. I was looking at something that was talking about the amount of debt that you get to go into school, and they're like, "But everything you learn is free on the internet." It really is, you know. Everything you learn in school is free on the internet. Hey, I'm gonna tell you right now, right here, like everything I've learned about this podcast has all been through YouTube. <laughs> all right, YouTube is single handedly the best thing that I've you know tool out there for sure. You know what I mean? Bro, so, I've learned so much. That my dad built it. My dad built a deck, a mm-hmm. two story deck off the back of the house that's been there for 20 years. By watching clips on YouTube. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, look, check me out my house, bro. Yeah, I know. Right, I right. show you those videos, bro. All right. So some me, of that shit's in your blood, right. though. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> hey, a, a, like a very speck of it, because I'm not a handyman. I'm gonna tell you right now. All right. I'm not a handyman like that. But like you know, uh, but when I got when I want to get something done, you know, and, and like I feel that like it's easy for me. Like if it's totally out of my you know right, uh, right. my league as for you know uh, tech wise or plumbing and stuff like that i want to be like you know like lynn's been there you know like that i'm like hey hey i, I need to do this like what are, you know what i mean like i freaking uh i just i just made this whole little pulley system for my gym you know yeah. right. for 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 uh um you know um for pulling some weight up to simulate uh uh climbing a rope right you know what i mean like that but you know uh there's a running thing between me and my brothers all right uh in in our in our group chat and stuff like that and so uh <laughs> and uh, one of my brothers, he actually has a, uh, this patch that he got made, and it says "Certified YouTube uh, uh, <laughs> Mechanic." Yeah. Certi- yeah. <laughs> certified Bro. YouTube Mechanic, because like I'm like, man, like YouTube is like, like that. So like with with this podcast, you know, learning how uh, how to configure tracks, editing videos, and things like that, or my, you know, I, I, me going uh, building things, you know, that, like my back porch I was building, or me bro- building, uh, you my, know, the room. my Twitch setup. My building, <laughs> all that building, building a PC, all that. Yeah. Just like, if, oh, I'm a if it ain't something super crazy, like Adam like, did, like, like the, yeah. PC, the what? Adam. What about him? Machine. He helped me build the PC. Oh yeah, I saw yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. that Adam's crazy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But Dude, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like things like that. You know, I'm like, if if it ain't something super crazy, you know, as for electrical work or plumbing work and things like that, like you know, work for sure. You know, like if you touch the wrong wire, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, something's yeah. gonna blow up. Like <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, I'm like not doing that. you know, I like I'll pay somebody else. But if I could just do it myself, and you know, like that for sure. You don't know how many yeah. days I've like been under the car, like rewinding the the YouTube video. I'm like, wait, we're supposed to be where? Like doing, like doing yeah. that. Like, oh, here it is, right there. Yeah. The, like, the, the second, the, the second, that was I'm me when I had my Jeep. Everything yeah. that I was, it was an old 2005 right hand steer uh, Jeep, and everything that, it, all the parts were aftermarket. Nothing was ever even being sold anymore for like parts for my Jeep and everything. Mm-hmm. Everything was on YouTube. I'm ordering from eBay. I'm doing this, and I'm like, Dad, can you help me? And we're there watching YouTube videos <laughs> and doing cranking nah. everything. Up I'm like the second, the second I'm watching a YouTube video. <laughs> all right, and and what I'm looking on the YouTube video. Video does not look like nothing that I'm working on it and right here like that it's time to call somebody right right, right. yeah <laughs> right, like that right, 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 I, right. I took I took this project as far as I can go I, now it's to hand it off to the end so so and the first thing is like hey I already did half the work bro so, so what what's right. what's the price she's like well first <laughs> well, I gotta fix everything yeah yeah well did. you fucked it up so you know <laughs> going back to our last episode <laughs> damn but, but you know but but 
<laughs> that's what so people always laugh because one of the things I hate to say is I don't know like I hate to say I don't know I yeah. hate to be the I don't know guy yeah but I'm quick to run to Google and find the answer like I want to no. find the yeah. answer that, that, because no. even if I don't know it today I'm gonna know it next time I get but it's all there so what really are we going to college mm -hmm. for anymore yeah as a business owner that's the number one Just thing that that's so <laughs> valuable to <laughs> to uh yeah. get it there. Uh, like the number one thing is so valuable as a business owner is knowing and understand like or not just a business owner just, you know just when when you're you're in a position and someone hires you for something you know just to straight up tell them if you don't know you don't know right right, you know yeah. I mean? right. Like that. but it's not saying hey I don't know it's like oh that's a great question I'm gonna figure it out I'm gonna mm -hmm. find it out mm -hmm. that's how you need to you know like that you know and then on top of that even <clears throat> if you don't know having you know being able to redirect them to the right person right yeah. that you know a lot of people you know like uh can give you so much you know uh so much credit and you know and, and keep you uh in in their back pocket whenever they need you because you just know the right people mm -hmm. you know like that and 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 i think a lot of people hate that or like they kind of feel threatened that oh i'm, I'm gonna send it to them and i'm gonna lose business yeah, no you like everybody they they wouldn't <laughs> even have found these people if yeah. it wasn't for you that's how you're still valuable in that way so, yeah. that so when you come out of law school mm -hmm. and you get your degree and you pass the bar mm -hmm. you can practice any type of law from the day you get your license mm -hmm. criminal law so so you could be one day out of law school and somebody could come in and be like, hey, I got this capital murder. I'm looking at death penalty. You want to Is it because me? you're just learning just general law? It's because. Like in school or why? <laughs> to me, for, for what you really learn in law school is a thought process. It's what you learn because there's really not an answer. Because if there was an answer, you would need two lawyers. You don't need one because one person would get to the right answer. But I have to fight one side and you have to fight the other side. Mm -hmm. So you have to be able to to work the thought process to get through, right? Mm -hmm. So that's great. But is it smart to just come out of law school and represent somebody who's looking at the death penalty on your first day out? Uh, no. no. You're playing with someone's life. You're no. playing with somebody's <laughs> yeah. life. Yeah. Don't do it. Yeah. And so that's why that's one of the biggest, like, like when I was in practice, I used to always do it. I was like, look, bro, I get it. I can tell you a little bit about family law. I can tell you a little bit about your child custody, but this is who you need to talk to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go talk to them. They they'll get you straight. Yeah. And then once that person goes, they, oh man, he seen me first. They they looked out for me. You know what happens next time? They come back to you. Yeah. And then eventually, now it's in your bailiwick. Yeah. Or they may not need you. Like my thing was criminal law. Mm -hmm. So Eric's looking for a family lawyer. I can't do it, but his buddy's looking for a criminal lawyer. And he goes, hey, this is the guy who steered me the right direction, and then he steers people toward me. Yeah. And then before you know it, you're just you're putting yourself in the right situation by just being honest with people. Yeah. And being like, hey, that's not really my thing. Yeah. yeah. It's not really my thing. Yeah. 